Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to jailbreak your guys' iDevice running iOS 10.2. Now this is restricted for only the iPhone SE, 6S Plus, and the iPad Pro. So if you guys have those devices, this is compatible. Not yet for the 7, I have heard there is a beta for the 7 going on right now. So stay tuned for any updates on that. So with that being said guys, let's get straight into this video. All right, so first off guys, if you guys have not checked out the subreddit, let me go ahead and pop that up really quickly. Right here, as you guys can see, there's a lot of articles regarding Luca Tedesco, so thank you so much, dude. You are an awesome person for releasing the past two jailbreaks. Thank you so much. You're putting a lot of hope and a lot of good news for the jailbreak community. So first off, guys, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and head over to his website, which will be the first link inside of the description below. And you guys wanna download the IPSW, which is gonna be right here, which will be at the very top unless he updates his site. So right here, it says Yalu 10.2 for the 6S, SE, and the iPad Pro. So go ahead and click on the IPA and download that. Now go ahead and click on the second link that is inside of the description to download Cydia Impactor, which is what we will need in order to sideload this onto our iDevice. Now, I wanna let you guys know that once you guys have this installed, once you guys sideload the IPA to your iDevice, you will need to redrag the IPA every seven days because the certificate will expire. So in seven days, if you try to open up the IPA on your iDevice and it does not launch up, you will really need to load the IPA onto your iPhone with Cydia Impactor. So from here, you guys wanna go ahead and download the Cydia Impactor version for your OS. So for example, I have Mac right now. So I went and downloaded that. If you guys are on Windows or Linux, go ahead and download those as well. So let's go ahead and fire up Cydia Impactor. So from here, once you guys have your iDevice installed, you will see it inside of the drop down window right here. Now with the IPA right here, you wanna go ahead and just drag it inside of the Cydia Impactor and you guys will see that little plus button that comes up. So from here, what you guys wanna do is you want to type in their iTunes email login that you use for the App Store. So go ahead and do that. Now the password right here, go ahead and enter the corresponding passcode. And go and press OK again. Now if you get an error, there will be a link that is inside of the description for you to go to the Apple page. And I will show you guys how to do it real quick. So if you get this provisioning CPP error 150, go ahead and do this. So go and launch up the third link that is inside of the description and you guys will bring this page right here so go ahead and just log into your ID so once you guys are here you will see a website that looks similar to this what you want to do is you want to go to app specific passcodes and generate passcode and then just enter any type of passcode that you want then press create at the bottom right hand corner so once you press create you will get an app specific passcode you want to enter this on the password field inside of impactor so let me go ahead and do that really quickly all right, so once you enter that passcode, go ahead and press OK, and then it will start to sideload the application onto your iDevice. So let's go ahead and wait for this to load up. It shouldn't take too long, maybe about one minute or two minutes tops. All right, so once it is done, it should be on your iDevice. So let's go ahead and pop up my iPhone right here. I'm sorry, it's very dark. I do not know why that is the problem, but let me go ahead and just show you with the best of my ability. So on here, if you guys swipe over to the right hand page, you will see the Yalu 10.2 right here if you guys open it up it might fail and you guys might need to install your certificate that is on your iDevice so I clicked it once and it is frozen right now so there we go and trusted developer let's go ahead and click cancel go to settings general and then you want to scroll down to where it says profiles and device management right here it might take a while for it to pop up go ahead and click on that click on the developer app and trust it all right so it just booted up right now if you swipe over to the right you guys can see that we do now have Cydia in on our iDevice so as you guys can see right here we we'll go ahead and scroll down very slowly so you guys do not see my UDID so you guys can see right there, I am on a 6S running on 10.2 and it is working perfectly and flawlessly. Now mobile substrate is in fact enabled on this jailbreak so you don't have to worry about anything with respringing your iDevice as well. So as you guys can see, there you guys go. That's how to jailbreak iOS 10.2 on your iDevice. Like I said before, this is only restricted for right now on the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, as well as the SE and the iPad Pro. So with that being said guys, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get more videos just like this in the future as well as more content with the iOS 10.2 jailbreak that is just released right now. We're gonna go ahead and make a ton of videos once this is much more stable than before. So with that being said guys, also follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and what's been going on in the jailbreak world. So with that being said guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks, signing out.